I know we, it was a couple days ago when we established that you sent books to Jody, right? Yes, I did. And is that about five books that you sent to her? I think I sent her four books and a magazine subscription. Okay. Um, and I guess I'll get this out of the way now. Do you have a memory problem? No, I don't. And do you have any feelings for Jody such that it would impair your abilities to make an honest assessment about her as a battered woman or about her relationship with Mr. Alexander? No, I don't. And one of the questions here is, why is it that you felt so strongly about her that you felt the need to coddle her by giving her books and apologizing? Why is it that you felt the need to do that? I want an answer to my question. Which Why did you feel a need to do that when you could have established rapport some other way? I felt that that was a respectful way to talk to Miss Arias, as I do with anybody I work with. I find a respectful way to make a connection with them. I think it's important. And I think it's important for people to see that you have respect for them, regardless of what they're accused of, regardless of what they've done, that there is a respect that's basic to a human being. So I chose that way to do it. It was not something I had planned, Mr. Martinez. It's something that, that happened when I was there. I hadn't given it thought. I hadn't you know, said, gee, this is what I'm going to do when I see Miss Arias. So I'm just going to apologize. It was something that I did when I was there. And when I purchased the books, and remember, Judge I've been. That's beyond the scope of the question. Well, no. response. When, I, when I purchased the books for Ms. Arias, remember, I've been on this case for a year and a half. So during that time, I did that. And I've done that for other clients. I've done that for other people in jail because jail is boring. And jail oftentimes doesn't give people the opportunity to, to be, have their minds stimulated. And I've actually done it with people I don't know who've written to me from jail. I've put together packets for them. Because that's part of what I do, and I see it as preventative. And I think in a preventative way. And in those 10 cases where you testified in criminal trials, ma'am, of those, did you apologize to every one of those people before you went to, as soon as you went to see them? I didn't read their most private, th they so were different, they were different, there's different reasons, Mr. Martinez, it's, it's very different. You, you approach people the way, you, I've done different things, I've reduced my fees in one of those cases because I knew that people didn't have a lot of money. So I do different things in different cases, Mr. Martinez, that's the way I work. I don't feel like there's just a rote way of handling people or one size fits all. I feel like it's important to look at the person that you're dealing with and try to deal with them based on who they are and not some formula. Are you done? Or do you need to say anything else about that? I'm done. You felt a need to do it because you felt sorry for her, right? I wanted to do it because I invaded spaces that most people don't invade, and that I, I felt to establish a rapport, it would be a really good idea for her to understand that I understood that, that I was reading things that were never intended to be read by anybody else, and that if, I, if she knew that I knew that, that there would be a rapport there, and it did not bias because I had still made no decision about doing this case. No one forced you to open your mouth those first five minutes and say, I am sorry, did they? I'm not sure that I did it within the first five minutes, but I, I did it relatively soon, and nobody forced me. No, right. they did not. Did I have to make an apology? Probably you could say no. I would say I thought it was a respectful and good thing to do. It was my decision to do it. So you can argue with that decision. But that's my decision, and I believe it was the right decision to make. You didn't have to apologize immediately upon walking in, right? No. You could have waited one or two hours to see how she dealt with you, to see whether or not she was going to trust you, right? I guess I'm not sure why this is such an issue. 
Judge, she's being non-responsive. Stained. Ma'am, you understand that you're here to answer my questions, right? Yes. 